Bright Legends, welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about using multiple keyframes when we made this, I don't know, kind of gangster little segment, I guess. We were talking about the original Batman with Adam West and, you know, when they go from scene to scene, there's always like that. All right, in this video, we're going to use keyframes to fade to black, whether it's a video or an image. We'll just do this image right here. It makes no difference. What I do is I go to the end of it. Whatever clip that you want to fade to black, go to the end of it and scroll down to opacity. And I'm going to go ahead and, and drag this all the way to zero, just like that. And let's go ahead and create a keyframe. Click on that, just like that. Now the question is, how long do I want this to transition from 100% to black? And let's do about eight seconds. So what's eight minus 43? We're looking at 35. Let's bring this to 35. That seems kind of long. Now we'll do like 38. There's no right or wrong. It's your call. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the opacity back to 100. And we are done just like that. So let's check it out. Is that too slow? No. All right, guys, that works for me. Hopefully this made sense. We're going to talk more about keyframes, uh, doing transitions with transitions, as well as effects, as well as fonts and stuff like that. I want to talk about video animation, but in the next video, I want to talk about controlling your frame rate per second. All right, guys, good luck with that. I'll see you in the next video. You're all legends.